You know, when it comes to Christmas, I think we can all agree on one thing. Regardless of how we celebrate, whether it's through Christian appropriation of pagan symbols, oh, they got their Christmas after all. Coca-Cola-fueled consumerism from the 20th century, Christmas special brought to you by the Coca-Cola Company and your local Coca-Cola bottler. Or if you don't celebrate at all. Even you non-believers. What we can all agree on is that the thing we all associate most with the holidays, and Christmas specifically, is new kids on the block. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's us, the new kids on the block. How you doing? <laughs> this is Joe. I'm How Jordan. Word. Yes. And I'm Donnie. Word. And I'm Danny. Don't drink and drive. Oh. And I'm John. Don't drink and drive, you know. Thank God for what you have. Christmas tree. I'm Donnie, by the way. By 1989, New Kids on the Block had conquered the world and were essentially the most successful pop group in the history of that world. So in a level of hubris that can only be mustered by five new money rich kids from Boston, people less fortunate than us, they thought, you know what? Maybe we should be bigger than Jesus. Maybe we should take on Christmas. Santa Claus. I met him. I met him three times. Santa Claus is on the way. I'm Donnie, by the way. In September of that year, they released Merry Merry Christmas, their Christmas album featuring the song, This One's For The Children. What's it called? Introduce this them. one's for the children. And of course, have a funky, funky Christmas. Peace. By Christmas 1989, New Kids on the Block were everywhere. They were hosting Friday night videos on NBC. Fly over there! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Chumming around with Calvert DeForest, AKA Larry Bud Melman. Word. Word. <laughs> they were hosting TGIF on ABC. And TGIF. Get ready because coming up next, we've got our very own special. We've got the right stuff. Friday at 9, 8 central. They had their own cartoon on ABC and had a Christmas episode of that. Merry Christmas, Albert. Yeah, Merry Christmas. I don't think they did anything on CBS or Fox, um, but correct me if I'm wrong. You're one of the people who inspired us to do this song, Santa, because you're always giving. Oh, and we've you. learned to give. Oh, like nice. Santa Claus. Anyway, I just want to wish you and your family a very, very happy holidays, and I hope that Donnie Wahlberg visits you and inappropriately air humps you into a wonderful 2023. I'm Donnie, by the way.